Dr. Nicole Frills here um, today. We have a diabetic. Um, when's the last time that you were treated? I've never been to a podiatrist. Never been to a podiatrist. And she came in, needs help with the toenails. So I thought this would be a good case for you guys to kind of follow along. And there's a piece of uh, a bandage over on this foot. And you said that you keep gauze in between. Yeah, it's sore. It's, it's sore. It's not broken open, but it's sore. Okay. Well, our goal today is going to get everything cleaned up. You can watch the whole process. And then we'll give her a pair of new feet. Probably lose about five pounds of toenails. <laughs> be a little lighter here when she walks out. Plus, we'll check her sensation and her circulation to make sure that um, she's aware of what's going on. Okay, let's get started. First thing I want to do hmm. is do some unveiling. So how long have you been applying a, a bandage like this? Uh, only for the last few days. Only for the last few days. You come down yeah, here. It was sore and I, I didn't know what else to do. So the, the toenail and the toes like kind of pressing? In between the, uh, the second and the third toe, um, the third toe side was, uh, uh, was sore. sore. One thing of note, the adhesive that's on this bandage is really pulling at your skin. Mm -hmm. So anybody at home, I really recommend, especially if you're a diabetic or you have poor circulation, not to use an adhesive oh, okay. um, because you can get a little skin tear uh -huh. and that can lead into an infection. So, you can see how just strong this stuff is. All right. So, we'll take a look here. In between. There's a lot of debris built up. So, what I'm going to do is also prescribe a foot soak. Okay. Everything will come with it okay. um, to show you how to use it. But essentially, it's going to be an antifungal, um, antibacterial. Okay. It's going to help kind of debride off some of this um, excess skin because I know it's hard to get in between the toes. Uh -huh. um, but after you use that, I really encourage you to take um, a towel or if you have someone at home just to get in between the toes to dry okay. them off. So right. that's really important. I think that's what you're experiencing is a lot of debris built up in between the toe. But we'll get everything cleaned up for you today. Okay. Let's take a look over here. You can see a lot of fungus that's built up over the years. Um, so I definitely want you to come in every nine weeks and we can do some maintenance. That pulse there was good on top of the foot. The one behind the ankle, not so much. And this, the legs are very tight. Okay. We call this um, venous insufficiency. Uh -huh. What that means is, is the, arter the arteries bring the blood flow down to the tip of the toe. The veins have valves, they squeeze them back up against circulation. Uh -huh. The more birthdays we celebrate, the lazier those valves get. Uh, yeah. So they start pulling. So we'll definitely get you set up with some compression hose as well, okay. which will um, help with the, to control this. Um, you'll definitely need to put them on before your feet hit the ground in the morning. Okay, okay everybody, who's ready to get nipping here? Let's start on the, I don't know, how about I always start on the left foot and the fifth toe. So we'll go there. Okay. Do you have any burning, tingling, or numbness? Uh, occasionally, I have a, like a burning and a tingling in my legs and my feet. Okay. I know it's that it's only occasional. It's not all the time. Okay. Good deal. Well, let me know. We'll ch definitely check your sensation. The viewers at home, I know you guys always get on me because you want to see this clip. So I'm going to try to resist and not cover it for you. And uh, so you can kind of see what we're seeing here. A lot of times the reason why I do cover it is because it can fly across the room. <laughs> and I have had one go in my mouth. Oh my word, I learned my lesson. But we'll see what we can do. So what we really want to do is clip the edges here first and not take it on as like one big hunk that happens. <laughs> Do you have any questions for me about your diabetes, your foot care, anything that I can help you with? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I may just have some problems putting those compression hose on. Okay. It's not easy for me. No, there are devices to help you. Um, and we like to start with maybe some compression socks that are easier. There's different gradients, and we find the socks 
it's a lot easier so people are more compliant in wearing them just to give you something. Right. Uh -huh. So we could try it and if it's not comfortable, then we'll just skip it, but okay. Doing okay up there? Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you're happy at home. <laughs> These are going all over the room. The medical assistants are gonna love cleaning this one up. So here's a lot of debris that builds up underneath the nail. And you really wanna just be careful that there's not skin also attached to it. I'm so glad you came in today. Thank you. We'll get you all cleaned up and taken care of. Kind of just want to follow and see whatever's loose. Sorry, Brianna. It's okay. <laughs> just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Not hurting you, am I? No. Okay. We should do a slow mo on this for the ones that are got some distance. So is that does that sound good with you to yes. come in every couple of months and uh, I'll try that. And just to let you know, as a diabetic. Um, you have first priority oh, okay. coming in. Um, so any emergencies, you let us know and someone can see you that day. How controlled is your blood sugar? What was your last hemoglobin uh, A1C? I think it was 8.4. 8.4? 8 .4? Yeah. And are you seeing an endocrinologist or is your primary care doctor? Primary. Primary. Uh -huh. It's a little high. Little meaning a mm -hmm. lot high. <laughs> Do you have a um, plan? Are you guys, is he following it or is she following uh, very closely? I'm on 10, you may have 5,500 twice a day. And how long have you been on that? Uh, well, I went off of it for a while. I went back on it, so. Uh, I don't know, six months a year. Can you tell a difference with that medicine? Uh -huh. Good. So just to let you know, what we do first is get the length and the bulk of the nail as much as we can. And then uh, we'll dremel down the rough edges. Before you come in next time, I'm gonna have you use that foot soak uh -huh. I was telling you about. So to help soften the nail, make it more comfortable for you and the nails will be a lot more pliable. Uh -huh. Maybe about, you know, 20, 30 minutes right before you come in. Oh, okay. Do you live on this side of town? Uh, no, I live over on the south end. Hopefully this isn't too far of a drive for you. But maybe it'll be worth it once you see these toenails. Feel in there, and again, there's all that debris underneath. So, we're gonna kind of just get the top, see what's under there before we take a big hunk of it. And this, I think, is just some dead skin. Well, it's just a little hunk of dead skin sitting there. Sometimes you need two hands, either that or I need to start lifting some more weights. <laughs> Well, they are almost done with the with the nail trim, and they're looking great. Don't lift your muscles. That's right. <laughs> you know what's funny? At one time, I used to trim nails in assisted living facilities and nursing homes. Uh -huh. And, uh, I mean, you're just trimming nails all day, squatting down. My um, forearm, my right forearm, was an inch bigger than my left. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah. I haven't measured them in a while. I should do that. So far. 
are so good. Okay, I think we're gonna dremel the rest of that one. Got quite a bit off. And then the next visit when she comes in, we'll be able to get even more. Okay, okay so I'm gonna do the little monofilament test. Um, just to check your neuropathy, okay? If I can have your hands nice and light, that's normal, okay? I'm gonna uh, touch a couple places down here. You let me know if you can feel it. Okay. If you can, if it's sharp, dull, or the same. Okay. All right, here we go. Close your eyes. Sorry, I forgot. No right. cheating. I can feel uh, just a little sensation. Little sensation? Little sensation. So it doesn't feel like it was on your hand? Um, the last time it did feel more like it was on my hand. Okay. I can feel it. Okay. Feel it. Feel it. Good. Feel it. Now, when you're saying you're feeling it, is the same, or? Uh, pretty much. Okay. I can feel it. Feel it. Good. Feel it. 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 Okay. Feel it. 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 Well, you did excellent. Well, what I'm going to do now is trim that callus, and then we'll work on, we'll dremel the nails, and then get you all cleaned up. So I only have seen one callus here. And so as far as the, um, the foot soak, what I'll do is fax in the order, and the uh, compound pharmacy will contact you with your um, insurance coverage, and they actually mail it to you. Okay. And like I said, there's detailed instructions in the kit and it will include a little foot uh, like soaker. Um, that's something for you to, so you don't need to go buy a, a little small little Tupperware or anything like that. It'll come with everything. Okay, well, I think, actually, here we're mold, up in here. Okay, let's break for just a second. I'm gonna get the dremel. All right, time for the power tools. Okay. One important thing when you're using a Dremel, number one, if you're diabetic, have poor circulation, please do not do that, because um, you can burn yourself. Also, if you have neuropathy, um, you can keep going and create a burn, which is not painful, so, you know, you don't want to get too deep, and certain bits can be very dangerous. And for the viewers watching, I did order new Dremels per your request, and I cannot wait. They just came in the mail this morning. So stay tuned for future videos. I've got a much uh, more modern Dremel. So thank you for your recommendations. Any other recommendations, comments, please let us know. I love hearing your feedback, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> And don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Much more coming this year. And if there's any other videos you want to see, please let me know. Happy to do that. We get to see all kinds of neat stuff in here. Um, normally, I would recommend using a nail gel on here to help kind of thin them out or fix vapor rub. But if you can't reach your feet very well, then... I don't think that's a good suggestion. Doing all right up there? Yeah. All right. A little chunk here. I'll get that next time. Maybe if my new Dremel would be a little better. Do you have anyone at home to help you? Uh, my son lives with me, but I don't know that he can help me. I didn't know if he'd be up for maybe putting some lotion on your feet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you want to ask him in the next time, because I'd like to call in some cream for you, for him to massage on your feet or, or quickly put it on <laughs> um, to help with the dryness. And stay away from in between the toes. I might be able to put it on. Okay. Well, I'll call it into your pharmacy when we're finished. It's called Lax Hydrin. 
which is a really good hydrating cream. And you'll notice the difference. We're almost done with the the torture. Oh, it kind of dust coming up on that one. What's that? Both of your arms. No, no, not at all. It's that extra inch of muscle over here. <laughs> no, we do this all day long. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it for my part. Now it's time to get the cleanup crew. All right, thanks for watching. Um, again, comment below if you have any questions, and then don't forget to sign up for the channel. See you next time. Welcome back. Um, I'm Alexis, one of Dr. Froze's medical assistants. I am just going to go ahead and clean all of this up. Dr. Froze has already trimmed and dremeled down. Um, so now I am just going to make sure it's nice and clean for her. Okay, so we have a few rags here and some sterile water. I am just going to drench one of these in the sterile water and make sure to get every excess of debridement off. So she is nice and clean whenever she goes home. You want to make sure that you get all of the debris off and out from in between her toes. Make sure to get around the nail bed well. And this is to also help us see that we have gotten all of the nail that we needed to. There's no snaggles left that we have not dremeled well enough. Make sure to get the bottom of her foot as well, just to make sure there's none that's around there that we missed. Okay. And then I will use this one for the other side to make sure it's a nice and clean rag. Again, in between the toes really well. Try and do that one a little easier to make sure we've gotten all of that debridement out and then back around the nails. Sorry, hun, if that hurts. See, that one's a little bruised up for you. bottom of this one and then after we have cleaned her up all nice and good I will take some lotion and lather her up with that 
And then she's ready for a night out on the town after that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And of course, this is unscented lotion. We will not put any scented lotions on for people who have sensitive skin or anything like that. Make sure that you rub it in more well as well. We don't want it to go around getting any extra moisture or saturation. Sorry. And that is it for when we are finished writing and dremeling and cleaning up. Now she is ready to go dancing. All right, thank you for watching. See you next time.